Well, ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely beautiful ambient glow before the day wraps up. Actually, day wraps up, just getting started for me. Anywho, this whole getting dark early thing, I used to like it when I was a teenager in high school, but for some reason, I mean, obviously, the older you get, you got projects to do, you got things to do, you need some daylight hours. So I'm not really into it anymore, but hey, it's all good. It's all greasy beasy, baby. 5.27 p.m. We got a quarter mile to go. Then we got to make a left into the post office before they close. Hopefully there's a gap and we can just slip right in there and run in there real quick because I don't feel like waiting an extra 10 minutes for the guy out back because we got to go to the polls and we got to vote, baby. Let's roll. I think we might be okay. Let's see what we got. All right, we got in there in the nick of time. He was literally closing the doors while I was putting my packages down. 5.30 p.m. on the dot now. Let's go vote. Let's go pay our part partridge, parch, parch ninja partridge par partitioners uh patron let's go i don't know anyway there's some p word that has to do with like uh doing your diligent duty as a citizen so let's go vote and i forgot if i mentioned but again i'm going to my hometown where i grew up to vote because i'm still registered here and i forgot the guy i went to high school with he is either running for re-election for mayor because he's already mayor but uh, I'm just determining what his name is. I'm pretty sure it is a pretty dominant name of the ballot, meaning that I'll know when I see it. So I'm gonna have to take a little gander at that when I get to the ballot. But again, I'm not really keen on like the whole like mayors and city councils and all that stuff, obviously president and you know, stuff like that. Propositions, all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, so I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna have to look it over. But first, we gotta stop over and go to the bathroom. The worst thing you want to do is anything that takes a little bit of like set mind and like, you know, concentration and you're dancing around. I've been dancing around in traffic because I got to go to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to stop over at McDonald's next to the old voting polls. We're going to go to the bathroom. Then we're going to proceed forward on over and go vote. My friends, it's a good day. It's always a good day. Sun was shining today. So no matter what happens, it's always a good day. Looks like a packed house at the old polling station right next to a Goodyear tire. And I just just tripped over a speed bump because it's so dark I don't even I can't even see what I'm doing let's roll well sweet we're finished what takes so long is the, all the propositions I got to read over them and you got to be careful about that stuff because you could like vote on funding money to like a bunch of nonsense so if we've learned anything this election we've learned that my goodness gracious I don't know what we've learned. It's been crazy. I take that statement back. You know what I told the missus the other night? I said, you know what? Because some people in our life, you know what I'm saying? You know, man will always disappoint. You know what I'm saying? And when I say man, I mean like human beings will always disappoint us. No matter if they're our closest friends, family members, sometimes they'll disappoint us. But I told my wife, I said, listen, missus. I said, missus. I said, Natalie. I said, you know who will never disappoint us? And that, my friends, is Jesus. He will never disappoint you. You know what I'm saying? I love that. There's always hope in Jesus. Flame broiler time. Yes, the babies. Yes. Yes, did you vote? Did you vote? Did you vote? Here we go. can now project that Republican Senator Mike Crapo. Paradigm is blown up. And we are talking about a. Who'd you vote for, Penny? My nights be wide awake. The decision desk has made it official. Fox News, Trump 274. Man, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but nobody wants it. What is going on with that computer desk? Pick it up. It's gonna be a little hard to see here, guys, but there's a couple old tube TVs here as a curbler. Right there, two of them. Well, leaving mom and dad's neighborhood now. I've actually seen a couple curb alerts. It's just a little hard to film because it is so dark, but I'm just kind of cruising around the neighborhood here. And I saw a TV stand and another old like little table, computer desk type thing. Let's see if we can find anything worthwhile. We'll just spend a couple minutes driving up and down the block here, see if we can see anything. Well, here's another curb alert. Take a look at that. Yeah, baby, pick it up. A love seat with a big ol' rip in it. Pick it up. I'll tell you what, I love me a curb alert. I'm actually doubling back, heading to uh, the little computer desk I wanted to show you guys. It's actually a really nice little desk, kind of like a white wood one. So let's head back over there on the way to the freeway. Let's roll. All right, here we go here. This is on the uh, opposite neighborhood. Uh, actually, same neighborhood, opposite street as my parents. There's a little white desk there. Wood, 
Nice, pick it up. What's cool is that this neighborhood, my parents' neighborhood is the same trash day as my neighborhood, which means that trash day is on a Tuesday, which is awesome. So it's really easy. You can hit Kerbal Arts in my parents' neighborhood and head back to my neighborhood, go to the Million Dollar Homes and hit some Kerbal Arts over there. Sweet. Let's see, kind of dark street though, unfortunately. Hey, there's a basketball court. Pick it up, Kerbal Arts. I thought I just saw a TV leaning up against the trash can. A smaller, like maybe 26, 27 inch, maybe a 32, I'm not exactly sure. So we're gonna go to the end of the block, go back around and get a better look at it. Didn't look like it had a TV stand on it. And sorry, I'm just kind of gazing the street here because it is dark. And so let's go ahead and flip around. I think that was a TV. I thought I saw a screen on it. And what happens is, hey, look at that. There is a mattress. What else we got? bunch of wood. Looks like the headboard and baseboard, slats and everything. Pick it up. Let's go see what that was. I have a really good inclination that that was a television. <music> kind of hard to see because it was dark. That was a medicine cabinet with a mirror on it. <laughs> the mirror thing I saw and the thickness looked like a TV. Ah. Better luck next time. I thought we were gonna go two for two on the TV. I can't do it too many curb alerts with this car. I'll tell you what, this thing drinks gasoline like it's literally water after a basketball game. You know what I'm saying? Or should I say Gatorade after some Haterade. You know what I'm saying? Let's head double back to the gas station here. A lot of folks still running the action after the elections. We're seeing a couple of little bits and pieces run around town, but it's all good. It's all crazy, bazy, baby. What's that? Is that some sort of mini blind? Look at that. Pick it up. Maybe a piece of wood, maybe. A lot of blue collar workers around here, a lot of good folks. So sometimes you can find some good action, some good uh, remodeling stuff. Now we did have some remodels in the area. So it's always nice when people are throwing away like old sinks, you know, could be some marble toppings, could be some granite tops. Could be some vanities, you never know. Sky's the limit, baby, sky's the limit. Always be scanning, that's my that's my code of conduct with dumpster diving, always be scanning. Let's pull on over here, the range says 25 miles till empty. We don't wanna run out of gas, so let's go ahead and pull on in here. Get some crispy gasoline, 91 octane. Make it nice and smooth on the way home, huh? Funny story about this gas station, let me break it down real quickly here. So, this was back in high school, my friends and I, we were a little bit curious of individuals. So unfortunately, now this is not fortunate, unfortunately this gas station got robbed back in the day, right? The newscasters came out and they wanted to do a newscast about the robbery, right? So they were gonna go live in a little bit of time. We saw the news van, we saw the woman, you know, getting her makeup on and they were gonna go live. So we waited right here on the corner until they went live and then we made a commotion as we were going inside the gas station right in front of her in the back so we were on live TV. And they were a little bit like, you know, we didn't do anything weird or anything like that. We just kind of like, hey, you know, like kind of like looked at the camera, said hello, and kind of like walked in and walked out. Nothing weird, you know what I'm saying? But the newscasters didn't like that, my friends. That was our 15 minutes of fame back then. We used to do some crazy stuff, run in the middle of intersections, do Chinese fire drills. Now that I think about it, pretty stupid, but uh, you know, we were young. Just be a little bit more smarter, kids. Be smarter. Construction, construction, what's your construction? It's just too late, I'm in Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you a large, very large curb alert. So what I like to do again, easier to notice the big ones, but as you go down a street, if you don't feel like driving down it, you look up the street and you just see piles of goodness on the curb, right? So this is the definition of a curb alert. Let me cut the lights, drive up, shine some lights on it. Looks like there is a full blown desk and we got some chest of drawers, all sorts of goodies there. Not exactly sure what that is exactly. Looks like a whole entire entertainment center. Okay, it does. I thought it was box springs, but it looks like it's a full blown entertainment center. I'm not sure exactly what the deal with that is, but that's a lot of wood. You could construct a project out of that, I guess. Who knows? Pick it up. I don't like to film accidents. I keep my camera down, but unfortunately there was a definitely a bad one didn't look fatal but flipped car not flip car but like full 180 probably drunk driver no driver around 
So I think they were taken to jail already. This might be a curb alert. No, it's just a trash can full of stuff. Now this is always a good sign, but it's mostly like, uh, see that, it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of dark, but it's a rent me little dumpster box. And those are always a good sign. You always want to come back and check on that. They're probably just doing a remodel. You never know though. They can always be throwing away good stuff, especially if they're remodeling, let's say an already finished kitchen or slash garage or slash uh, throw away a Porsche. They could throw away a Porsche in there and then Chris would take the Porsche, fix it up, put a 353 block full Chevy conversion Tesla motor in there and call things quits, something like that. All right, two more neighborhoods to go. My favorite two neighborhoods for curb alerts. Let's take a little gander real quick. Always pay attention to the for sale homes. They'll definitely be putting stuff out recently. Hard to see, but two more toilets right here. Let me show you real quick. So quick story for you, those toilets, I know it's kind of hard to dark, kind of see those dark toilets on the side of the curb. Anyway, so those toilets are the same toilets we have in our place right now. And again, I don't know if I ever mentioned this to you or not. I probably did in like a long time ago vlog, but anyway, we moved in and our owner had a crack lid to one of the toilet lids, right? That goes on the back of the toilet. And it was just impossible to find that design of a toilet because of the water tank behind it, it's not very eco-friendly, if that means any sense, right? So they've actually shrunken the tanks in the back and we could not find a new toilet tank lid. And so we're like, oh man, because we moved in and we're like, you're gonna replace this, right? And he's like, yeah, 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 I'll take care of it. But it just didn't happen because we couldn't find one. Well, lo and behold, the same neighborhood where we just saw those two ones at, Natalie and I were jogging. We saw two toilets just like that sitting on the curb and we just grabbed the lids, ran them home, picked the best one, kept the best one. And then uh, I think I set the other one by the curb just in case someone else has cracked it. And it was gone, so someone took it. So you know what I'm saying? Hopefully I was able to bless someone. So anyway, that's the moral of the story. You see a toilet lid, you grab the toilet lid. Well, we did have another package come today, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait till tomorrow to open that up. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Let's go ahead and take a little closer look here. It looks like it is definitely from China. As we can see here, the return address is Xinjin Lakin Technology Co. LTD. And the contact name right there, China People's Republic of, very interesting, UPS. So we'll go ahead and dive on into that and see what that is tomorrow, my friend. Without ado, ladies and gentlemen, the current time is 2, 11 a.m. in the morning, and I'm gonna edit this vlog, watch a couple of YouTube videos, and get to bed because we got a lot to do tomorrow. God bless you, God protect you. Remember to carpe diem, baby, and live your dream. And it's been a good day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Later.